Hey guys, what's up? It's JB Twinesiger back to bring you part 7, I think it is now, of uh, Let's Play Silent Hill. These nurses in this fucking hospital are putting me off, and uh, we just found um, Alessa's like, patient room, I believe it was, where she was being treated. Now, we need to make a fucking run for it. So I don't think there's anything more for us back down here, and there's a shitload of nurses, so we need to make a run for it. No, I've been in here. Oh. Fuck, I can't tell where I'm going, where I haven't been, where I have. Okay, I actually need to go back. Oh. Fuck, couldn't avoid that one. Fuck off. Okay, so we need to head back into the hospital and we need to go watch that VCR we just picked up. So we need to watch the videotape. And then we need to... Um, use the patient room kit, I believe it was. So it's out here then straight across. Okay. Now, any point on from the hospital... I know I said I, I, I couldn't remember a lot of this game, and I still can't. But I think any time I've attempted to replay this, I've only ever got as far as a hospital, and then I've probably put it down and forgotten about it, or never continued it. And it's not for any like real particular reason, other than it just really scares me, and it's just too much kind of thing. Um, but... I... I just can't remember much of past the hospital or, or the hospital itself. I think we're getting towards the end of it. I don't think there's much more you have to do here. Okay, where was that video player? Okay, down to the end, then round. Okay, no nurses, that's what I like to see. I'm going straight past it, getting a bit too eager. Wrong door. And here we are. Let's save it. Uh, I'm just a bit worried that I'm gonna, like, you know, touch wood that it doesn't crash. But I'm gonna just keep saving it in case. Okay, watch some video, get some exposition in. So, um, I believe that was Lisa, who is a nurse we'll meet uh, at some point, that basically has been given the task uh, of being kept alive by Michael Kaufman, who's part of the cult himself, I believe. And she's, she's kind of trying to understand how the child's still alive after everything it's kind of been through. But as I said, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit more as we go over it. Where's the, um... What's the key I've got for? Examination room key. Where's that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Where's examination room? Ah, we get to it go by going to the first floor and then through the medicine room. Okay. Where was the elevator? Okay. 
Here we go. So hopefully the Lisa cutscene will explain it a little bit more, but I'll try and kind of add to it if I can um, after it's kind of taken place. Because I've got a feeling this is where you meet her. Yeah, it is. Lisa's hot as well. Harry's all like, hey, hey, what do we have here? Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Quite literally. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? Was I dreaming? You were too late. It's you. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my ability. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! Okay, so a uh, little bit more of a thing there. Antique shop key, nice. I thought... It was to my understanding that Lisa was in on it, unless she's just covering for Kaufman. Well, she might actually not know. 
Um, can we leave now? weird. Maybe we never got to go to the upper parts of the room. Um, yeah, I think we can just go now. Oh, it's just the elevator. Where's the way out? Is it here? No. <laughs> so what I'm going to try and do, if we've got a little bit of a walk ahead of us now to the um, antique shop, I'll try and go via the police station as well if I can, but I'll try and cover how best I understand the story to be unfolding so far. Did I just go in a circle? Oh no, I didn't. Alright, let's save it. Okay, are we outside? Oh, thank God for that. I do think we have to come back here though, if memory serves, but hopefully for not anything too extensive. So where's the antique shop then? Get out, what's that sound? Of? Jesus! Okay, that is... That is like, unreadable. I'm sure you can normally zoom in and read these things, but um, it looks as though I'm going to have difficulty with that. So let's just have a run around. But from what I... Just the constant sound of enemies. Um, but yeah, from what I understand, so Alessa is Dahlia's daughter, the woman with the with the bloody red and red striped tie. She had uh, Dahlia is part of a cult, and their goal, as I understand it, is to birth um, birth a, a like a demon, birth like a demon god, which is basically um, their kind of uh, their goal. Um, Dahlia's daughter, Alessa, has s special kind of gifts, like she has the power of um, like telepathy uh, or psychic abilities of some kind. Now, because of that, they want to use her for the the vessel. And I think there was supposed to be a proper ritual that takes place where she's impregnated with a with a demon seed. Now this is where it gets kind of a little bit mixed. Um, but there's there's two different theories. There's a theory that she was burned as part of the ritual, and because of that, she like split her soul in two. So that so the um, the ritual couldn't couldn't kind of be finished with only half a soul. Oh, that's a new type of enemy. These fucking like monkey things are horrible. Ooh, fast as well. <laughs> oh, why have I still got the videotape? Oh, was I maybe supposed to go up and watch it again? I, it's really annoying me that I can't zoom in and see what I'm supposed to be looking for. Let's check the other side of Simmons Street. Um, yeah, so, so she... Either during the ritual, purposefully split her soul in order for the 
for the plan to fail. The other half of the soul went into a baby, um, which is Cheryl. Um, and that's your daughter in this. However, she's just one half of Alessa. Buffalo Chief. And um, basically, because the cult couldn't finish the, the birthing ritual, and the other half of the soul was lost, the, the, the um, cult were using a magic spell to call back um, the other half of Alessa to the town so she could become whole again and they could continue their, they could continue their plan to birth the god. And I think that's why in the film she's having dreams about it and stuff, even though the film doesn't follow the same kind of plot. But anyway, that's why... Ah, Antique Shop, nice. That's why um, I'm just going to check here in case there's something. What's that sound? There's like a really weird like whining sound going on in the background. Simmons Street. Bookstore... There's definitely a... Ah, there's a police station. Let's, have a, let's go over to the police station. I know I've found like, where I'm supposed to be going, but let's just have a quick look. Because I think there's some more like, exposition there. And I need to finish telling this before we get interrupted with any more cutscenes and that. So. They're, um, they want to bring the other half of Alessa's soul back to complete the ritual. When Cheryl enters a town... And she runs off. I think she's then become whole with the lesser again, almost. So like, because she's now foot. So basically, oh fuck off, you fucking monkey cunt. There we go. Look at how that noise has stopped finally. Um, yeah. So Cheryl then becomes just an astral projection of the lesser and the whole time a lesser has been kept alive from the burning of the ritual on life support in the hospital in the basement um because they just want to keep her oh, fuck. all right let's just read this out quickly i, I shouldn't have clicked i should have finished what i was talking about officer gucci is unlikely to be murdered he apparently died naturally but medical Medical records show Officer Gucci had no prior symptoms of heart disease. Okay, let's just quickly finish what I was saying. So now she's back. She's an astral projection of Alessa. She, she's been tormented with this nightmare for seven years, Alessa, on the life support and going through all the pain and suffering and everything. Now she's back and full again and she has a like, full capability. Her projection of the nightmare internally is now being put onto the town involuntarily so that's the nightmare we're seeing and it's got elements of both of them so that's why it's like child stories and things that are showing it's a lesser's nightmare being projected through the spiritual ta power of the town f manifesting in real life it's not another dimension okay i've probably missed a couple of points there but that's how i understand it myself Shotgun shells, thank you. Um, there's a little notice here. Product only available in selected areas of Silent Hill. Raw material is white claudia, a plant pecu peculiar to the region. Manufactured here? Dealer equals manufacturer? So basically there's a there's a bit of a drug ring going on in the cult as well. That's how they like initiate new members and stuff. And like create profit. Um, and also what I was going to say about the, the, the kind of the disagreement between the two ways is um, how she was burnt, if, if the burning was part of the ritual. Um, some people believe it isn't, and some believe it is. But there is a memo in the European um, version of the game that isn't in the North American release, what I'm playing here, that you find. And it's basically... Um, 
what it is is it says it's about an anti it's about a, a boiler explosion that happened and um, burnt down some houses in the area. So um, when Alessa was being you know trying to be forced to do the ritual and the impregnation everything her height and stress levels caused the antique boiler of the Gillespie household to explode which burnt the house down and interrupted the ritual forcing it not to be able to be done like the burning wasn't on purpose but then some people believe that because Dahlia tried it herself and like fucked it up and she like burnt down the house and everything that's why it went wrong and it messed up but the 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 note, the newspaper article saying about the boiler explosion was actually a cover-up from the cult. It was to show how far that their reaches go, that they're even in control of, like, they've got the police in on it and everything. <laughs> there is a clock. Nothing special. I know I just saved it, but I'm going to save it again once I've searched the room. So yeah, some people believe it's yeah, some people believe it's another dimension, like two different dimensions, the foggy one and then the nightmare one. Um, but from from what I've learned, oh, let's let this play out. Perry, I should have saved it. Sybil, oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. <laughs> the phones and radios are still out, too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Huh? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. Yeah, that was let's say with note which read in there. Hand out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No, I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. Oh, please, sir, I can go back. Get back here on the double. Oh, 
Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Oh, was there someone else supposed to do that clock? Could I have moved the other clock? Oh, fuck. Didn't save it either. That's alright. is the other church. Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. That's like the... Um, that's like the... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, give me that axe. Oh, what does that say? I can't read it. What the? Harry? Are you okay? Lisa? That I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. So this is a dream they're in right now. Like literally, they're in a lesson's dream. You don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Yeah, that's the ritual burning or whatever, well, accidental burning. The town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town. Devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, gotta blame it on something. 
Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult? Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? Okay, so what I'll do, I'll save it here guys and call it an episode as we're at half an hour now. Um, I'll discuss the story and a little bit more as stuff unravels in the next part. Um, sorry if I didn't really make it clear enough, but I, I think, you know, I've, I've done an alright job. But as I say in my previous videos, the best way to experience and understand the story is watching the real Silent Hill experience on YouTube by a channel called Twin Perfect. Really worth checking out. But thank you very much, um, I hope you like this video, and please subscribe to the channel for future videos, and hopefully part 8 will be with you next very soon. Thanks very much guys, and I'll see you later. Cheers!